Hello and welcome. My name is Elliot, and this is my Minecraft Survival Guide. This is Episode 1, and in this episode we are going to learn how to survive our first day and night in Minecraft Survival. So to start off, we want to click on Single Player right here. And as you can see, we have no worlds, so we need to create one. So we're going to get Create New World down here. And we're going to give it a friendly name, something along the lines of Elliot's Survival Guide. Now we have different game modes. In this one we're going to use Survival, but covering the other ones, we have Hardcore, which is just like Survival, except if you die, your world is erased. You cannot get it back. Creative mode is where you do not get damage. You do not have mobs and stuff that come and attack you. You can simply just build to your heart's content. It's great for the creative mind, but also lacks some of the features in the regular survival mode. So we will go into the survival mode and we will create the new world. And in this case, we're going to build. Some worlds will build quickly on faster computers. In this case, I've got an OK computer, and it takes a little bit of time. All right, and here we go. This is not a bad place to start out. You never realize when you start out in Minecraft that you will sometimes be dropped off on the edge of a cliff, sometimes on a little island in the middle of the ocean, on top of a mountain, in a swamp, in a jungle. You could pretty much come out anywhere. But in this case, we've got a nice surrounding of wood, which is not bad, and got kind of some little bits of hills here and there. Really, overall, not a bad place to start. Okay, first things first. Let's see if I can find the sun. I think it was over here. There it is. The sun. The sun and moon rotate around the Earth, in Minecraft at least. And as you can see, the sun is slowly rising. And soon it will set, and nightfall will be upon us and monsters will come about called mobs in this game and they will try and hurt you and that is not good so we need to create some tools and create some stuff so that we we can survive the night and first order of business is to get wood first i'm actually going to open up the inventory and you, as you can see here we've got an achievement called Taking Inventory over here on the side is where you can put your armor. And we will talk about that later. Uh, simple crafting. There's a 2x2 two two block here for crafting. And things that we have in our pockets and things that we can hold in our hands down here across the bottom. Okay, movement. W is for forward. S is for back. A and D go side to side. If you've played many PC games, these controls will be very familiar to you. Um, your mouse, of course, moves you around. And pretty much when you just hold the W key and you wander around, it turns and goes wherever you want it to. The space bar is for jumping. You can jump one block. You can't jump two, unfortunately. Okay, we need to gather wood, so we are going to hold our cursor right here on the wood and left click and we're going to punch the wood until we finally get it out. Look at that, we got wood. And we're going to work on gathering a few pieces here. Probably need, oh, 8 to 10, somewhere in that neighborhood is a good number to start out with. 
good safe number to start out with. Now besides wood, one of the more important resources to gather is coal. And coal, depending on where you start, may be an easy resource to find or may be a hard resource to find. Let's see, and we'll end up going with two trees here and we'll get about 11 pieces. Not bad. All right. Next thing we need to do is pushing your E and going into crafting. We need to make a crafting table. So we will drop one piece of our wood there, and we come out with four wood planks. And all we have to do is left click on that and pick it up. And in this case, now each one of these I can drop one at a time using the right click, and we will put four wood planks in a configuration like thus, and we will get a crafting table to where we can pick up our crafting table and we get another achievement. All right, we need to set the crafting table down somewhere. And actually, I am going to move around here because we'll probably end up putting our shelter somewhere down around here. This actually looks like a really good place to do it. All right, starting out here, we need to make a few items. So we will start out by making some planks, and I think I am going to use five of those. And each time that you right-click on this, it will give you four planks for every piece of wood that you make. And we are going to arrange them like so, and we will make a stick. So. Putting two wood planks together like that creates four sticks. So we will need some sticks there because we need to make a set of tools. Tools are a very vital thing in Minecraft, as are a fair, minor, fair amount of items. Excuse me. Uh, we will want to make a pick. And pretty much, if you just draw out what you're trying to make, you can make it. And in this case, you have two sticks for the handle, three planks across for the pick, and now we have a wooden pickaxe. We also need to make a shovel, which again, we make the handle, and then we make the head of the shovel there, making our shovel. We'll pick it up. And we also need to make a sword. And so out of that, I'm going to put one stick because it just needs a shorter handle and two wood planks together, which makes a sword. All right, now that we have that under control, we need to see if we can find some coal. Now, coal is going to be found in rocky sources, and of which I do not see anything that will work for us there. Perhaps we have something around here that we can use. If we cannot find coal, we can make charcoal, which is simply burning wood and turning it into charcoal. And I will show you that tonight as we are in there. If I can find coal, if I cannot find coal, I will be showing it to you sooner than I expected. Okay. Now with the shovel you can dig out the dirt here and all you do is hold down the left button and you just dig it out like so. Just hold it down and as it starts to crack apart it will eventually break. Oh hello. Alright, let's 
let's see if I can... I'm going to get some of this stone here, which turns into cobblestone when we mine it. Cobblestone is something that we can make better weapons out of, better tools out of. These tools will chop things apart faster. They will be stronger and have more ability to attack. And in some cases we need the proper tools to be able to mine things out. There are certain materials that take a certain kind of tool to pull out of the ground, as is most of the case in real life. Kind of dancing around this a little bit, trying not to fall too far and get myself hurt. And so far, not doing too bad. Okay. We're going to head back over here. Because I am not finding what I set out for, unfortunately. Here's kind of where we started, right here. There's our crafting table. And I need to craft an axe so I can gather some wood faster. Which all we need to do is put the axe blade on there. And this creates a stone axe. Kind of move this out of the way there. And we want to make a stone pick. So it'll last longer than our wooden pick. And we might as well get a stone sword while we're at it. And boy oh boy, it is getting dark quick. And as you can see already, having tools is much faster than not having tools. Okay. Very quickly we are going to make a furnace because we are running short of daylight. And we need to see we'll hang on to a little bit of that. And that will cook up some charcoal. And charcoal and coal both I can use for go. Let's use our pick. That would be good. Well, this is certainly interesting. Not exactly an ideal shelter, but it will do in a pinch. And we are going to modify this ever so slightly. Kind of make it easier for us to get around. Oops. You know what? I'm just going to chop that tree down. And the light went out on our furnace, which means our charcoal is done, and we can make a torch. Alright. Torches are simply a stick and a piece of coal or charcoal on top. And I'm going to light up our little area here. And I'm going to kind of block myself off so that we don't we don't get some stray monsters coming in here after us. I probably should put that on that side go. Now monsters, uh, when they come at you, um, 
Most of them are too tall. The skeleton and the zombie both are too tall. Uh, two blocks, that is. And so putting this one block here only gives me one block open. And that should protect me from them. There are two blocks tall and one block wide. Basically just like a person, just like you. Spiders, however, are two blocks wide and only one block tall. And as with, with spiders, most of them are flat and scurry along the ground. And so it is in Minecraft as well. Kind of dig out some of this and make some more space for us. Because we kind of like space. All right. I'm actually going to kind of make a wall across where the doorway is simply to protect us um, from arrows. The skeletons have arrows that they shoot. So we don't want a, even though they can't come in here, we don't want a stray arrow coming in at us and getting us. That would not be good. Okay. Unfortunately, my crafting table and my furnace are outside. Not necessarily things that you want to leave away, but I am going to make some more here. As I am also going to make a chest that we can store some item, items in. And as you will find out very quickly in Minecraft, chests are very good to have around because you seem to accumulate a lot of, I wouldn't call it junk, but a lot of stuff as you travel about. And in this case, I'm going to put my excess charcoal and some of my wooden tools that I don't necessarily need right now. And a little bit of that dirt, because I really don't need the dirt. I do have some birch wood, which is good, because if I need some wood for things, it would be handy to have. And in this case, actually, I am going to make a door while we're here, which is simply taking six planks and arranging them like so. You can do this with wood or birch or spruce or whatever kind of wood that you come across. You can build a door. Same thing with a crafting table. Let's see, let's go ahead and make a stone shovel since we dumped our wood shovel. Yes. All right. I'm actually going to turn around this way, and there is a door. Now you can simply right-click on the door to open, right-click to close. Not too bad. All right, I'm going to kind of redress this a little bit there. That way I've got a clear access to the door, and I'm not accidentally trying to click on the torch because that would be kind of bad and especially if I'm trying to get in here in a hurry to get away from something. Um, let me see what time is it. The moon is slowly going down. Soon the sun will be coming up and it will be relatively safe to go back outside. Okay. This is where I'm going to end episode one. Uh, please feel free to leave comments down below. Um, good is appreciated. If it's going to be bad, at least let it be constructive criticism. Um, 
thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in episode two.